continue our discussion. You know, one of the things I think is so great, you know, we were talking just a moment ago during the break, the idea of the church universal versus local. And, and because we have the body of Jesus Christ that you were talking about earlier. Um, and passages that kind of convey that idea, Jeff, uh, I think you had one just a moment ago. Uh, did I indicate that? <laughs> uh, Maybe I was hoping you did. I, okay. I, I thought I asked you to. What about well, Ephesians 5? Just the body of Jesus Christ. Right. Yeah, Ephesians 5, where it's compared to uh, Christ in the church, husband and wife, right? Yeah, yeah, and he is the savior of the body, and he's That's talking right. about the church universal. Okay. But then the book of Revelation would be a good example. Right where he deals with the church in the concept of the local congregations. Yes. you can, Right. If you just study what the scriptures say, you can get the idea of universal church versus local church. Let's explain that real quick. When we talk about the local church, you mentioned a minute ago, uh, Milestone Church of Christ. Uh, you saw commercials up there of other churches of Christ that support this program, uh, with Margaret Street being one of those. That's a local congregation. And in that local congregation, you have elders and deacons and members uh, that are working. But then, just like I'm a member at Margaret Street, you're a member at Cantonment, right. you're a member at Milestone, those all come together, and that's the church universal. You see that in passages like Romans, uh, chapter 16, where he's addressing all those different churches. Exactly. And, and that's one of the things that I, I think is so beautiful. Uh, you know, we, we try and feature some of the congregations that, that help us with the have a Bible question specific part, but the Northwest Florida school of biblical studies offers free Bible classes, uh, online this fall, we're launching a, a full learning platform online that, um, can actually transfer as college credits to other places. But, um, we offer that for free as a work of the church funded through free will offering, because we have congregations that are out there supporting this and uh, that. I think it's a beautiful thing. Individual congregations letting their light shine, carrying out the work in, in local areas, but oftentimes we cooperate together to for the for the greater good. Yeah, we need to clarify something there since you brought that up, yes. and that is the fact that uh, this is a foreign concept to some people. There may be some people watching this who don't understand what we're talking about, and we're talking about autonomy. Uh, when you talk about the church, the local church versus the universal church, uh, the universal church is the body of Christ. Yes. The, the, the passages that you read, Colossians 1, 18, Ephesians 1, 22, that talks about the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. That's the overall church, all churches of Christ around the world. Yep. All right. But then you have, you've mentioned the local church and you just said something. You said the free will offering and then you said this cooperation that we have with each other. That's because there's not a headquarters. Uh, that oversees the church of Christ. They're individual congregations that operate independently from each other. And and that's right. one of the things that's kind of neat. Um, we're shooting outside of this uh, live session, some episode, um, some segments for uh, GNTV, uh, which is the good news today with our, our good buddy that was on last week, Mark Teske and brother Jim Dearman and many other brethren that work together to produce that program. We're working with them now. And uh, oh, yeah. together we're, we're going to be able to reach out to 22 cable markets and uh, it's cooperation. But one of the questions that was asked uh, that we were answering is dealing with, is there a pattern for church organization? And there is. And so we have these elders at congregations that help us to be able to um, uh, carry out this work that's been going since 1987.